In this video, I'm going to talk about the drawing tools in Pixlr. So underneath the selection tools, you, go, you have your drawing tools. The first one is the pencil, which you can go ahead and just kind of drag and draw things around. You can zoom in, it's easier to see. Your options here are your size, so pencil thickness and things, so I can go ahead and step that up, as well as the type. So they have various different filters and things like that that have different pretty cool effects that you can go ahead and play with. Uh, you can also set your opacity and your amount. Then next to the pencil tool, you have the paintbrush tool. Kind of similar, you click and drag and you can go ahead and draw things. There are different brush sizes as well as different brush styles to pick from. So here's the star style. You can go ahead and choose whether you want it to be more of a hard tip rather than uh, kind of a soft filter to it. There's also options to choose the diameter, the hardness, and the spacing in the actual drop down here. So you can actually go ahead and really fine tune what that is. So say for example, I was doing something like that, I could actually change the spacing of it. And again, you have your opacity settings. Then you have your eraser, which again, you can actually choose exactly the same brush options uh, to then go ahead and change the size of the eraser, things like that, the fill of the eraser, and different points and tips, whether you want it to be square, round, whatever it is. You have the paint bucket, bucket tool that fills whatever color is down here at the very bottom of your toolbar. So you first should select the color you want to fill. And you can actually store multiple colors down here. So they let you store up to six colors to kind of have handy and ready to go. And then whatever you click on will just be applied by that paint bucket. You have the gradient where if you click and drag, you can actually set the direction. And of course, you can change the different type of gradient that you want. And whichever direction you drag is the direction that the gradient is applied. Then you have your stamp tool, which say, for example, I want to stamp this red. What I first have to do is do a uh, command click here to actually select that as part of my stamp. And now everywhere I click, it's essentially just putting that dot. So it's applying the stamp that I had selected uh, from all the way over here and applying it across my artboard. You have your matching targets mode. So this actually goes ahead and blends colors together. And lastly, you have your shape mode. So this is pretty self-explanatory. Go ahead, you can pick a shape. You can pick whether a line, round or rectangle, or uh, oval slash ellipse, whatever you want. Uh, you can talk about a border size if you want to have a different border. And it actually selects whatever your first and second color is automatically. Um, but you can go in and change your fill shape and things like that afterwards. Or you could always grab your paint bucket to then apply a color to that shape. 